The mandala symbolizes the universe. It is the blueprint of the Buddha's pure land. Tekchen Choling's new premises at number two BT Lane is set to become a mandala, inviting people to come and learn and live the words of the Buddha Shakyamuni, a place where the Buddha Dharma will flourish to benefit all sentient beings. Singapore-born Lama Tupten Namdrol Doje, also known as Lama Felix, is a lay Lama. He has had a strong affinity to Buddhism since young. He began studying Buddhism when he was seven and quickly learned the Chinese Mahayana and Thai Buddhist traditions. In his teenage years, he studied in Nepal's Kopan Monastery. Lama Doge has grown in spirituality, learning from teachers like His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama, Ken Rinpoche Lama Lundrup, Geshe Lama Kunchuk, and Lama Zopa, amongst others. His very early time came with the family. Uh, so, he's a nice boy, he liked Dharma. I find, you know, Lama so very uh, inspiring. So, as, you know, from early young age, so we know, so like we, so mostly we talk about Dharma things and so like mostly, so way to help other. Uh, because he's, um, he has so much merit that actually he can, you know, like, you can, you can see how much he is influencing in Dharma for so many, so many people. In 2001, under the instruction of his teacher Geshe Lama Kunchuk, Lama Doje founded Tekchen Choling in Singapore and now heads it as spiritual director. Lama Doje began teaching Dharma in 1998, starting with classes held at the homes of several students. To keep up with the growing number of students, the weekly classes moved to a rented house in Old Upper Thompson and later to larger premises at number six, Hin Hindi Road in Bukatima in 2000. Geshe Lama Kunjo gave this name, isn't it? Tejin Shiling. So then they can use and start the Shil Center. And then, then Lama Pilik teach in meditation, Lamdim, different kind of teachings, different butchers, go people helping select the start, you know. The objective of the Chen Chuling is to let people experience actual Buddha Dharma by putting it into life practice rather than being uh, just an intellectual knowledge or just a superstitious religion. Like what Buddha had said before, um, do not follow his teachings blindly but experience it ourselves. And it's a religion that we can analyze and put it into practice. In the last two years, we have grown very significant in size. We, are, we managed to attract a very large group of young students to come and learn Buddhism in Teaching Choling. They are, most of them are below the age of 35. It's quite rare and quite difficult to convince new generation. That's the very difficult part. So I'm really admiring uh, that you know, like very many new generation girls and boys are uh, getting interest into Dharma. Buddhism is a, to me, it's a logical religion and it's very step by step. I mean, because also um, our Lama, he helps us understand it better by make it simpler. He doesn't tell you like, oh, I'm teaching you something now and blah, 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 then you get to learn. But it's in the process of having fun, the things he say, then when you get the hint, actually you learn something. One special factor of Tekchen Choling is Lama's unique teaching style. Effectively bilingual in English and Mandarin, his Dharma classes are lively and often peppered with everyday examples that we all relate to. Together with a warm welcoming community here, Tekchen Choling is a haven from the noise of the world. Uh, Lama Felix, uh, he I think attracted for many other, other Lamas in different sect in Tibetan Buddhism. It's actually very important for them to extract as many as lineage possible because they have to grant to the student. Right. 
So therefore, like for them, have a more responsibility than us, like normal normal monk. Lama's teachings are very lively and humorous, and because of his deep knowledge in the Buddhism, he is able to deliver the profound teachings of the Buddha into something very easy for all of us to understand. Uh, he conducts it in a very um, in a way that we can understand, a uh, very Singaporean way, like I would say. And he understands us, and he speaks our language. And besides teaching in our daily life, he actually uses skillful means to make us to uh, realize and to feel Buddha's teaching. Buddhism is not a solo by yourself kind of uh, religion to practice. You have lots of warm friends in Te Ching Chiring to help you along through your journey. And uh, everybody in Te Ching Chiring is very young. The people are very young, and Lama is very young, and even the older people. Um, are very young at heart, and this is what I really like here. And when we come here, um, all the members helps helps out one another, and also in the Chen um my family joins me, my children joins me, and the children also listens to Lama when he do the Dharma teaching. The uh, Chen Chuling is. Uh, I can say maybe it's one of the unique centers of you know, Mahayana Buddhist, so, which has you know, the genuinity, which has the tradition, which also tries to keep alive the, uh, the relation of Guru devotion. Buddhist cultivation is not complete if one does not look outside of oneself. Reaching out to young and old, our annual calendar of events includes Chinese New Year, Visak Day, Chen Rezik and Medicine Buddha Festival, and Ulambana celebrations. Through the years, these celebrations have grown tremendously. Reaching out has helped many individuals come into contact with Buddhism and has generated greater understanding of the teachings. Uh, 就是要我们了解一下生老病死 Section Choling started an outreach arm called Divine Hearts. This is the seed from which we will begin our efforts towards reaching out to youths and the elderly. I realized that true Buddhist teachings emphasize a lot on benefiting others. So besides true prayers, perhaps we can help others in a more tangible way. So recently, a group of like-minded members came together to form Divine Hearts. The purpose of Divine Hearts is for any practicing Buddhist uh, to be able to experience helping others and in the process to become more aware of themselves and others. Divine Hearts will focus on two groups of people, the youths and the elderly. For the youths who are at the impressionable age, we will provide them with spiritual and emotional support for them to embark on their life's journey. For the elderly, they have already contributed to society and it is important for us to remember their kindness. We also um, aspire to follow Buddha's footsteps to benefit more people, not only through learning the Dharma, but also develop a heart to help the needy people. People need the Dharma, you know, because the people, if they we meet, we meet the center, and then uh, many people get a chance to practice dharma, stopping negative action and doing positive, and that's very beneficial for this life and the future life. When I visit Texan Chuling, you know, every time when I visit, you know, the space is getting smaller and smaller. It's not squeezing from outside, but, but, how to say? pushing from inside because it's so many people coming in so many so many new people especially to see so many new faces the current place we have is getting cram for teachings as well as for the monthly pujas with the purchase of this 2 BT lane we are in a better position to reach out to a bigger population to benefit more people with Buddha's teaching <laughs> 
安定下来，让学生、土地共修。I feel that you know finding that new place is really wonderful. So it's not only for the center, but all for you know Singaporeans and uh, you know for all sentient beings, so we can benefit more. Now Lama Felix will you know definitely you know make this you know center very meaningful and beneficial to all the sentient beings. I'm very up, I'm very happy for yeah. that. Yeah. Building a temple has uh, incredible benefit. It's a place you see uh, to abide. You know, uh, you see um, the uh, two rare sublime ones, you see, Buddha, Buddha Dhamma Sangha, <clears throat> you know. Uh, it is said the mindfulness, Sudra mindfulness, Tempanyesha, but Buddha, that, you see, the benefits, you see, you see even the, you see, even the Buddha, they, they explain for uh, billions of eons, can never, can never finish explaining, and uh, can never finish experiencing the benefit of building a temple. Our new temple will be situated at number two BT Lane. This is freehold land and officially gazetted by the authorities as a place of worship. It will provide us with the opportunity and space from which we at Tikchen Choling can build the mandala of our faith. Tikchen Choling is a Dharma family. We are centered on the teachings of the Buddha. By cultivating a divine heart, we pray that the Buddha Dharma will flourish to benefit all sentient beings.